You're watching I Am Arm, and this is how to make hex skins in Minecraft. So, if you're like me, you've gone around looking on the internet and you couldn't find any instructions on how to make hex skins in Minecraft. You've seen a few people use them in their builds and they look quite nice, but there's no real instructions other than just sort of trying. This video is to help solve that. So, this is pretty straightforward. All you really need to do is sort of choose your length along the base and then you'll be able to work out everything else. So going over to an example one, uh, I've selected a base length of 19 and from that I can work out all the other dimensions of the hexagon. So uh, the first thing we'll talk about is the distance from this face to the other face and how you calculate the distance between there. How you work out the distance between this face and the other face is pretty simple. It's just 2 times the base length minus 1. So for 19, it's 19 times 2 is 38, minus 1 is 37. So there are 37 blocks between that face and this face. Um, working out the centre is real easy as well. So you find the center of one of these two flat faces this point here and you go in this case 19 blocks from that center point and you reach the center so your center point can be found by going to the center of one of the flat faces and going that dis uh, that length of the flat base towards the center now the difficult part is working out how many and what shape you make the angled pieces on. All the things I've worked out so far use this two step, a uh, two block step. Goes along. Now there are two ways to do this. The original way that I started doing it and one way that, which is by math. So the original way I started doing it is you go to the edge of your base length. You then go out another uh, half of your base length. So in this example it's 19, so half of it is 9, um, minus 1 divided by 2. Um, so I've gone 9 blocks across and then up. What this has done is it keeps it all within a square. So you go across 9, you go up 19, in this example and you reach the center point for this face. You then have the area at which you're trying to make a angled um, set of blocks to have your hexagon. So for this I do steps of two and then the center point is a section of three blocks and that tends to be the same thing that I do for all sizes. So that's you can do that fine when the um, hex skin is relatively small, but as soon as it gets too large, you don't really want to be building this structure to try and work out um, how you're going to do it. What you'd really like to be able to do is work out how many of these uh, two block steps you're going to need in order to make that side. So there is a way to do that using the base length again. And that is where x is my base length, minus 5, plus 2, divided by 2, equals the amount of two block steps. So in this case, it's 19. So 19 minus 5 is 14, plus 2 is 16, divided by 2 is 8. And you'll see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 steps. And that's true for all of them. So if we come over here and we look at this one, which has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 on the base block, so 11 minus 5 is 6, 6 uh, plus 2 is 8, divided by 2 is 4, and you see 1, 2, 3, 4, and you get to the joining piece. So that's uh, all you really need to know. So all the relationships for this uh, for hexagons can be based off 
your base length. So as soon as you know that, you can calculate all the rest, even for bigger structures. So going over to building it from scratch, got a place set up here. So if I say I want a base length of 23, I can go along and count 23. And then from there I can work out the rest. So what I'm going to do on this occasion, I'm going to treat it as if it's a really large uh, hexagon and not bother working out uh, the far side and just go straight to building the perimeter using the math I worked out over here. So working out how many steps is 23 uh, minus 5 is 18 plus 2 is 20 divided by 2 is 10. So 10 sets of 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then a joining set of 3. And then that same thing again, but stepping inwards. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 23 across. And then the same 10 steps again. With a 3 step join. And same 10 steps again. And that's the hexagon perimeter complete. So you can do use that same math for any size hexagon you want. Um, and for future reference they can be found the math I use can be found just in the description below. Thank you for watching, hopefully this helped you.